Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. We are here again for the weekly update. I am Father Joseph Nguyen, the new Parova Vicar at this wonderful parish. Father Brian is at a conference for Catholic school this week, so I am privileged to speak on his behalf today to share with you a very important event coming up this Saturday, the enrollment of the Brown Scapula. A little bit of history. In the year of 1251, in Cambridge, England, Our Lady of Mount Carmel first appeared to St. Simon Stock, a Carmelite, and she handed him a brown scapula as a sign of divine protection um, for his Carmelite order during their suffering of oppression and hardship. Our Lady said to St. Simon Stock that this shall be a privilege for you and for all Camelites that anyone dying in this scapula shall not suffer eternal fire. And later in the year of 1730, Pope Benedict XIII extended this magnificent privilege to all the laity who are willing to be vested with this scapula, the brown scapula, and perpetually wear it. Our Lady later appeared to the three children in Fatima in 1917, holding on one hand a rosary and a brown, a, a, a brown scapula on the other hand, indicating her desire for the children to adopt this special devotion. The rosary is our weapon and the scapula is our shield. Our Lady promised that she would save those who perpetually wear the scapula from the fires of hell or shorten their stay in the purgatory. And this is a wonderful privilege as we all desire to live with God for eternity in heaven. But to be eligible for the scapula promise, one must be enrolled in the brown scapula confraternity. The members of the confraternity have the added benefits of sharing in all the spiritual benefits of the Camelite order. And so now I want to turn over to Stephanie to talk more about the brown scapula. Hi, Father. Hello. That was really nice to hear all that. This is Lisa. Uh, and we wanted to show everybody our new line of scapulars that we're carrying here. Lisa has a couple of them in her hand. Um, this company is local within Arizona, and it has a seven-year guarantee on durability. Actually, Lisa's family has gotten these and mm -hmm. worn them a long time, yeah. and actually one of them, something happened, right? Yep, and then and they replaced it. They replaced it. Yep. Uh, something also very nice is it has a pocket in there, so you could put like a metal, um, another devotional metal in there, and it holds it really tight. So I'm going to stick that in there. You could put your miraculous medal or Our Lady of Mount Carmel. Yeah, uh, we have those which are right here. And then those are the ones with the seven year guarantee. And then we have other devotional ones that are handmade. And then um, some also the size for children too. So they're a little bit shorter in length. And then Father, we also have something special over here at the counter we'll show you. Follow us. Oh, okay, great. <laughs> okay. So over here, we have a specialty candy. It's called Mount Carmel Classic Caramels, and it's packaged up with a beautiful holy card in devotion to Our Lady of Mount Carmel. And this particular flavor is actually a blessed sea salt. Would you like to try it? Oh, sure. Oh, good. I'm glad you said that. Do you like candy? Yes, I do. <laughs> mm. It's really, really, really good. It's, oh, good. I'm glad you like it. Thank you. It. Yeah, sure. Um, mm. And I see somebody else back there. Is that Chilo? Chilo, what are you doing? Oh my gosh. Okay, first of all, you need a can I have some Chilo? candy? Because that's not fair. <laughs> yes. Okay, thank you. Um, no, okay. No, chew and talk I don't know. This is really good. Sorry, this is great. <laughs> I needed this. Thank you so much. Guys, check this out. So, for information, is really busy right now. I'm asking you guys for prayers. Um, this weekend, we're going to Steubenville West. We're taking about 40 of our high schoolers down to Tucson for the weekend. 
and then Sunday, like this Sunday, like like this Sunday, right? We're leaving Friday, coming back Sunday. But there's another group leaving Sunday from here, and it's our edge group. They're going to San Diego for a week-long camp um, called Golden State. Um, and then on top of that, we're taking our group to Indiana, to the National Eucharistic Congress on Tuesday. Okay, so if you've been kind of around the last month or so, we've been asking for fundraising for um, our trip to Indiana, a couple of us here. And so we just need your prayers, please, if you would cover us in your prayers as we kind of embark on this three, you know, trip journey over this next week and a half. We would greatly appreciate it. Thank you. I got to go. The candy was great. It sounds like you need to pay for the bus. Oh, I appreciate oh, this. All right, you got it. All right. God bless you, Chilo, and your groups. All right, everyone. Thank you.